Hello, this is Ami Diamond from SharePoint Wizard. In this episode, I'd like to show you how you can manage your sites in your tenant. So, uh, I'm in uh, the home page of Microsoft 365, which was Office 365, and I will go to the Admin Center. And in the Admin Center, if you have permissions, I will choose uh, SharePoint. Let's see where it is. And actually, we will go to active sites. Under sites, we have active sites. Now, we have different type of sites. The main ones are team sites, which are connected to 365 groups, and communication sites, or, or classic sites, which are not. Um, so, uh, what I wanted to show you an example, if I choose this uh, site, which is called uh, 2000 in the market, I have here in the menu permissions. Here I have two options, and at first it was not that clear, and I would like to explain um, the difference. So actually, we have here two possibilities. One is to manage group owners. When I do this, if I add a user, actually I'm adding a user to the Office 365 group. So he will be a owner and he will have access to all of the 365. So if I put myself and you see now I save, actually I will be added if I go. Now to the site, I will see that I was added as a owner, but owner to the group. So let's see, if I go here, it's loading, just a second. So you see, I'm an owner in the group. Okay, but let's see what happens if I choose the second option. Manage additional uh, admins actually gives permission only to the site, not to the 365 group. So if I add myself here, and oh, I add Alex. Just a second. Oh, let's, let's add Lee Gu. Okay, let's save it. Now let's see what happens. If we go here, it will be added only to the site collection admin, but not to all of the components of the 365 group. So if I click on the settings and I go to site permissions and I will e go to the advanced one because that's more easy for me. If I go here to the site collection admin, I will see two things. One is the users that were part of the 365 group, which were the primary one and Ligu I added separately and this is only giving site collection administration, but only to the site, not to Teams, not to all of the things. So he can uh, access and support everything uh, on the site, but nothing else. If we go to the owners group, you'll see there's nothing here because automatically it's uh, through here. So let's see what the same behavior or different behavior we have on a communication uh, site. So I will go again to SharePoint and I will choose uh, SharePoint. Let's scroll down. Something's happening. Let's see. Here we go. And we go to site action site. So I will look for communication site, uh, this com HR. And actually, if I go to permissions here, I will see that I have only one option, manage admin. What this does actually is, it's like the second option in the, what we talked first. So because communication uh, sites don't have any 365 groups. Actually, when we add it, it adds it as a site collection admin only. That's only for the site, but actually it adds it. So let's put Alex here 
and see what is the behavior. And you see here, uh, the first one is primary and the second one is uh, set as, uh, you can either say a primary or admin. So that's the second one. Let's go to the site. Let's see what happens. How was the permission set? It's taking some time, but we will wait patiently. What we will see is actually if I click on this uh, gear icon and permissions, and we will go uh, to the advanced one, we will see that on the site collection admin, this new user uh, was added. So the message is actually that uh, as we see um, that for team sites that are connected to 365, we have two options. The first option is actually adding to the 365 group. The second one is only to the site. Um, now, uh, additional thing is if you assign, if you remove from one of those, it doesn't remove from the other one. So if I remove it only from the site, it will still remain uh, on the on the group and vice versa. So uh, if you want to remove, you need to remove each one separately because uh, each one has um, separately uh, different permissions. So uh, this is a message that I wanted to show you. At first it was a bit confusing, um, but now I hope it's clear. By the way, you see here, uh, you can assign, associate a site as a hub site or associate a site as associated and you can set the sharing and all kinds of things. Thank you very much and see you in the next episode.